Well, if you want to get the attention of the Vatican or the leaders of the Boy Scouts of America, all you have to do is mention the name of one American lawyer, Jeff Anderson, Rhonda. That's right, Brian. And over his long career, Jeff Anderson has taken on thousands of clients, survivors of sex abuse, and received tens of millions in settlements from the Catholic Church, the Boy Scouts, and even the Vatican. And now he's on to his next big case against a widely uh, spattered church in this country, the Light of the World Church, led by a man who calls himself the Apostle. We are here today, standing with social, to sound the alarm. And to expose the culture and the predators that are active as we speak not just in trafficking, not just in sexual assault, not just in the cover-up of it, but in the silencing of anybody that would speak against them. I have never, ever, in the 38 years I've been in this work, been more alarmed about the safety of children than in this situation. For the first 30 years of my life, I was taught to believe that my body, my mind, my soul belonged to La Luz del Mundo because it was the will of God. From the age of nine, I was taught that my own family and community, that my eternal soul depended on me sexually pleasing La Luz del Mundo apostles. For nearly 22 years, I was made to work for, travel for, lie for, and give my body to an organization that saw me as nothing more than a source of profit and sexual pleasure. And we're joined now by Jeff Anderson from his office. And Jeff, thank you much for being here. Tell us a little bit about Social Martin and why you think this case is such an uh, important one. What an extraordinarily courageous woman, courageous survivor. And I say that because she is one of many thousands now who not only have shared the secret of sexual abuse and exploitation, but she has chosen and had the courage to stand up, not just for herself, but to stand up against a very powerful religious organization called the Light of the World of La Luz del Mundo and its so-called apostle who exercises enormous power. Uh, and against that power, she has shined a light by having brought suit, by having shared her secret, and had the courage to tell the truth and thus shine the light so that other kids can be protected. What an extraordinary woman who is among thousands of survivors with whom I and we have had the privilege to now work with for almost four decades. As you know, the apostle, Nathan Joaquin Garcia, has pleaded guilty to more than 20 criminal charges and is awaiting trial in California. Why the civil lawsuit now? You're going after the church and him? Yeah, he's actually pled not guilty and is awaiting trial and being held uh, in very high bail as we speak. And the civil suit has been brought by her uh, and by us because it really is an opportunity to bring more light and more truth to what he and those around him have done to so many for so long, using their power, using uh, their position uh, to not only exploit children and vulnerable adults, but to allow so many else uh, around them to do it. And this civil suit, brought by her and others like her, really brings light and truth to bear in a way that a criminal case can't. Because a criminal case focuses on the offender, 
The civil case focuses on the culture that permits the offender to engage in the criminal conduct and the cover-up and concealment of it. And thus, the civil suit that both Social Martin has brought and the other survivors with whom we work bring and continue to bring really protect kids in the future and help those Jeff, that have been hurt. A question for you, Jeff, from Rhonda Schwartz. Rhonda? And Jeff, you're so well known for the cases that you brought against the Catholic Church. Is this, are you finding, is this a church or is this a different kind of organization? And are there special perils here? Many of the survivors that we've spoken to have told us they're very afraid to speak out. Well, you know, this journey for me, working with survivors, began in the early 80s in the first suit brought against the Catholic bishops in America and exposed their concealment and cover-up of it. The case by Social Martin uh, parallels uh, that uh, effort that began for us almost four decades ago. But the thing that makes this so stunning after all these years is the peril that is so present in real time right now. And that means that what he, the apostle, and that culture, which calls themselves a church, that more appropriately resembles a cult. And any definition of cult applies here. Power concentrated and in do you a leader think uses it. Why do these cults, uh, this widespread sexual abuse, what's at the heart of it? Why do we keep seeing so much? Well, I think at the heart of this cult and this particular case is a concentration of power using divinity and uh, using the power uh, that they have over the souls and the care of the soul. And in addition, they use fear and they use intimidation and they use money. And with the power of their divinity and the power that they enjoy over the souls of these adults who join them uh, and they exercise it, uh, and they also use um, intimidation. All right, Jeff Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. Continue to uh, do the good work you've been doing that's made your name so well-known and so feared by people in power. Jeff Anderson, thanks much. Thank you. You're watching Brian Ross Investigates on the Long Crime Trial Network.